Good God, this thing is big. I always forget. Um, I haven't uh, I haven't worked on or talked about the Model S for quite a while at this point. And I will say mainly that's because the car is just pretty good. It really doesn't skip a beat. Uh, but I've got 117,000 miles on it now, and it is overdue for uh, gear oil in the drive units. So I'm going to be doing that today. Um, there's a couple really annoying aero plastic panels. It looks like they're largely 10 millimeters and plastic push clips. Looks like we got a pair of Torx T30s. And this one, ooh, a couple scrapes in the middle here. I know exactly what those are from. And in the back, all 10s and looks like all 10s. Oh, no, we got a couple push clips as well. So, yep, I'll get a 10 millimeter, we'll get a needle nose, and uh, we'll get going. All right, front is off. They are actually Torx T40s in the middle. I only had four remaining little push clips around the end and two really big ones in the back. Hopefully yours has more than that. Next up, we got another two 10s, two actual T30s, and I think there's another plate under that as well. All right, those two pieces are off. It looks like I have to take some 13s out here and get this out too. The, the drive unit's right up behind the steering rack, so I'm not exactly sure. All right, so far this is really stupidly designed. I just took a pry bar and kind of wedged it out of the way, but I do see the front drive unit now. So I've got to like split this Velcro casing to get to the drain plug and stuff. What a weird design. All right, so the fill plug is really the doozy. And you can see it way up there. I can't even... I can't even reach my hand in there to tap to get my phone to focus. There it is, way up at the top. Drain plug way down here. There's definitely been plenty of salt water on this bad boy. Uh, these look like eight mils, but I'm gonna find out really soon. So do the fill first, always, and then we'll drain the fluid out. So I ended up leaving the entire thing up in there because I could barely get my auto ratchet up in there. Plugs out, I'm gonna use a different eight mil down here to drain it out now. And then I'll look up how much fluid and I'm gonna be putting uh, Redline shockproof in here. But man, what a joke. Okay, plugs back in, hole still open up there. I'm gonna be putting in uh, one and a half liters or 1.8 quarts of shockproof in this thing. So let me get my uh, fluid vessel all ready and since this thing's idiotically designed and it doesn't have a fill port, which is at the correct level, I'll go ahead and uh, measure it out first. And here we go. 1.8 quarts headed in. Okay. Plug is back in. 1.8 uh, quarts, 1.5 liters in. Time to put this blanket back on the uh, drive unit. Seal it all back up. And you may be asking yourself, why the hell is there a blanket on that? Uh, it's because they actually resistance heat the motor to, uh, to warm up the pack in the winter. So that's why that's there. That sucked. Moving on to the back. Okay. Process is you got to take these ribbed pieces off first. There are four of them or I guess three if you're lazy, two if you're really lazy, and then uh, a bunch of 10 mils around the perimeter. That piece comes off. And the rear drive unit, which looks like mine's starting to leak just a little bit, right here. So folks are saying that the fill plug is in the wrong spot. I don't think I buy that on the back, but uh, it's supposed to take 2.25 quarts. So we'll measure it out anyway and just see, but I'm inclined to just fill it up to the top there. Much, much easier here though than the front. All right, yeah, keyboard cowboys are wrong. That is definitely the correct fill level. Pulled the fill plug first and it's just barely dribbling out. So that is going to be our fill goal. Now the fluid back here looks significantly less good. It's still okay, 
but uh, this motor is clearly working a lot harder even though it's not doing the vast majority of the actual work especially on the highway but all the heavy load accelerations uh, focused on this motor so I guess that does kind of make sense anyway while that drains I'm gonna go fill up my power bleeder with the rest of this oil and we'll get her pumped in oh good lord I made a note to myself and future people all set uh the rear ended up taking about 1.6 liters which is really really close to what i put in the front so small drive units seem like between 1.6 and 1.8 is about right i don't know your mileage may vary that's not a suggestion but that's what i did to my car so I'm just gonna button it back up now and off we go hope that helped wow that sucked